Welcome back to Gaming Uphill Both Ways. I am FC Neo Tokyo. This is Bobby Digital and uh, Turtles. <laughs> What's Teenage up, Mutant man? Ninja Turtles. This is a I, uh, this is an underground game. This is where April finally fucks a turtle. Oh no! Oh man, <laughs> you said that so early on the episode, dog. That's not good. <laughs> We're gonna get kicked out. <laughs> get out! Get out of YouTube right now. No, just you know, it, it it's it's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, oh, where God. were we? Were we we on were nine? at Coney Island. Okay, and then we saved so we all. That. We saved all the uh, toads. So what is this? I'm right here. Get your... Oh wait, I guess I can just do that. There we go. Uh, okay, Silicon Alley. Okay. Known That's as Los Silicon. Angeles. No, San Fran. Oh my God, I love. She uses her microphone. Is that what you hit with? Is the microphone? Yes. I gotta. I gotta remember how to do some of this stuff. My God, she's got a booty on her too, man. Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> a yellow jumpsuit. I. I kind of love it. Them gymnast legs and. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, you just immediately go to objectifying. But honestly, like, I tend to like, I always try and play as something that I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I like, I like getting a different perspective. I what, mean, athletic and muscular. Yeah, there you go. There, that's one. <laughs> oh man. Well, pretty. I'm. I might. I might be stuck having to work out pretty soon, man. I'm pretty I... sure we can break those or. I guess not. That For everything else you can break in this game, that is strange. Oh, it's because those things popped out of them. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Dude, April is a awesome, dude. <laughs> is she a beast? She is. I should have been playing with her and not Raphael this whole time, dude. Yeah, Michelangelo is okay. I think I like Donatello better. Uh, dude, it has been so long since we played this game. Yeah, I know. It'll probably come out like two days after the, f the first one, but it's in reality, it's been like two weeks. Yes, which has been a long time. Like, you you oh, went to shit. Kansas City, which I, I don't know what goes on in Kansas City. I haven't <laughs> been there in quite some time. Uh, Not much goes on in Kansas City because I decided to stay at a hotel slash water park, so... Guess who didn't want to leave the hotel slash water park the entire time? <laughs> well, Every time we left. The... What are we yes, that was the swim? point. <laughs> yeah, basically, and that's okay. I mean, that's now are they are they old enough? They... You can just turn them loose. You can just literally be like, go downstairs and go play. Uh, the water park. no, not quite that old. Uh, but I mean, they have independence in the water park. Like I basically read two books while they were screwing around and swimming so you read books yes oh man that sounds awful <laughs> it's actually really I'm awesome kidding. no i know i'm kidding i, I learned about how uh the banana caused the united states to sponsor overthrowing a democratically elected government in guatemala in 1952 isn't so that, that where the term fun. banana republic comes from correct oh okay it, i i do find some actual like enjoyment out of the things that you tell me you read like just it's just kind of weirdo history shit you know like it's oh, not well, all just, military just know stuff, this just, just know this that after World War Two, basically, uh, um, yeah, if you if tasked with choosing uh, between democracy and the health of corporations, the United States will always choose the health of corporations. Oh yeah, no, that's that's the and whole whether that means head, a right? dict a dictator <laughs> needs to be a power for a corporation to be good. Yeah. So, anyways. But no, other than that, vacation was good. Went to the World War One Museum, went to the League Museum. Both really awesome. Got some cool shirts. 
Uh, that is, so how how was that the baseball uh, museum? How do it was was it cool? Was it big? Yeah, they were both uh, they were both really cool. The baseball museum was not all that big. Like the World War One museum was a lot bigger, but they were still both really cool. But uh, let's it, see. so it? it makes you wonder like what what made them pick Kansas City to put that there? Like what was it like? Do you think like cities bid on it? And they were like, we Which want one? this. Well, either. What? Like, honestly. So like, Kansas, Kansas like City that? has a, a long history with the Negro Leagues. And that's where, well, yeah, they, you know, Buck O'Neill and Satchel Page. So that's that's obvious. I don't really know why they ended up with such a big World War I museum. I mean, right after the war, they built this thing called Liberty Tower in the middle of the, like, city. But anyways, yeah, so those were a good time. And. You know, got my swim on. You know, as we play this arcade game, the one cool thing was, man, my girl spent well. I mean, it was financially crushing, but it was cool. <laughs> but, yeah, my <clears throat> my kids, like, if they weren't in the pool, the only other place they really kind of wanted to be was the arcade. So, And both were literally right down the hall from our room. So it was really fun to sit and play in the arcade with them. Well, that I mean, is I pretty awesome. I'm going to tell you that four figures were spent in that arcade. Oh, that's brutal. But you should oh, know we God. came out with like a skateboard, two skateboards, <laughs> actually. Um, you know, a couple balls, a bunch of things we won in the, you know, the little drop the hook prize thingies. So, you know, I came out with four figures spent and probably about $28 worth of merchandise. Okay. Yeah. No, that's, that's. Because that's, that's about what that win. stuff's work. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a dub. <laughs> <coughs> so what was what was their game of choice? What were they playing all the, like crazy? Uh, they did like the ones where the hooks dropping and try to get stuff, but also uh, me. Oh, they had like virtual reality roller coasters that they really liked that were actually pretty cool to do. And then uh, the other ones they were on like. Me and my oldest played ski ball a lot, and there was a basketball connect four that me and her played a lot. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, so a lot of that stuff. Uh, the Jurassic Park shoot 'em up game played a lot of that. So yeah, it was fun. Sounds like you, man. Like that. That sounds like a decent like family vacation. You know, not nothing it too was, crazy. No, and, no having you know, to go to Disney World. <laughs> yeah, no, it was. I enjoyed this year much better than last year when we went to Disney World. Oh God, that was horrible. But oh God, anywho. so you guys already did that? You? Yeah, so I did it last year. Were they too young to, to do that? No. To spend the money on all that? No, that no, was the perfect no, age. No, they or? absolutely loved it. Yep, that was pretty much perfect age. And my dad has a condo in Florida that he's going to sell soon. But anyways, he wanted to take them down, and my wife basically gave him the ultimatum, like, hey. Like you're not getting any younger or any healthier if you want to do it. Now is the time. So we yeah, went last now's year. Yeah, now the time. And it oh, just dude, made, that's... it just make made me made me sick to my stomach that there are Disney adults. Like you can actually go through that place as an adult and enjoy it. Like it's how? just for the there's kid. no you way. You didn't. There's enjoy no it? way. Oh God, you no! Didn't... I didn't enjoy it. It was horrible. Is and there I was any drinking bars the entire like, time too. Yes, okay. that was the only thing that made it tolerable. Was like everywhere I went, <laughs> I had to get a fucking drink. So what about the rides? People be talking about the rides. Did you not like the rides? I've never mm -hmm. been. I'm the never rides really... are like okay, I guess for if you're seven. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't understand how like these thirty year old. 30 year old people who are Disney adults or whatever. I don't understand how they just enjoy the park like that. I think we just whooped this dude's ass. Yeah, we, we most certainly did. And never mind the fact that we died. But yes, we took care of that easily. Hey, we get like three lives a level. Yeah, Look they make you. it pretty idiot proof. Like, we just play on normal, right? We don't really pay attention to, like, you know, we're not like, going to go play on hard or easy or whatever, but. It's just it, it seems pretty idiot proof. Like, hey, don't you want to enjoy this game? <laughs> you know, and it's like, yes, yes, I do. Oh man. So there was one thing there I did want to mention. So like, 
obviously there's a bunch of parents there and you know we're in america so there's a lot of a lot of overweight people there myself included you know what i'm saying so the one thing i won't do is i'm not gonna do the t-shirt in the pool you know what i'm saying like i'll let it hang out yeah i'm not not, doing the t-shirt in the pool okay and I just because it's like you're automatically giving up, you know what I'm saying? You're automatically <laughs> drawing attention to yourself. It's it's just better to just you know just suck get, it up, suck it in, and you know do that. Yeah, just but just, just be yourself. It's like the people who buy like way oversized clothes to like try and hide yeah. it. It's like you actually look worse. Right. You know what exactly. I mean? just, just be yeah. yourself, man. No, but anyway, so my wife, probably trying to make me feel better, she was telling me that there is a society uh, on another continent where, you know, the bigger the belly, the more desirable the man. And I know oh, she's no just way. trying to make me feel better. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I know she's just trying to make me feel better, but then I'm like, because, you know, you go around and, like, I'm by far not the heaviest there, but, you know, there are a lot of guys there that are in shape and, you know, Kind of make you feel like, uh, you know, a little inferiority complex. Like, what am so I my, doing with my life? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so my wife tries to make me feel better like that. And I spent the entire rest of the vacation looking at the people bigger than me. And I was like, well, goddamn, I'd just be average in that society, too. <laughs> well. <laughs> like, I couldn't win for losing. <laughs> Well, I'm like, man, I, 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 I went I went from thinking that I would like be crushing it in that society. Like, right. I've got a pretty good stomach on me to like the whole vacation. I'm looking at other guys. I'm like, well, I wouldn't stack up to him or him no, you'd just be, you'd or be him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn. <clears throat> it's like I'm either, just, either I'm too big or I'm scrawny. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm just a three point five wherever I go, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just straight, yeah. He he's a five, yeah. Just right down no, the middle. Three point five. <laughs> Trust me, I, I know I'm a little below average. <laughs> Probably a three you, a three point five no, on an eight scale. No, all you need is is confidence, man. That's that's all you all you need. That's it. Just just the confidence, man. Just <laughs> that's like what been, I'm saying about <laughs> with the shirt in the pool. Like just, just I, give I've, up. Just I've been confidence. married for I've been married for twelve years. That's all been drained and sucked <laughs> yeah, there's, out of me. There's there's no more confidence left. <laughs> you know Yeah, people make uh jokes like that, but oof. It's 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 hard to be like I'm sure I love uh, my wife. Well, no, not just that, but I'm saying it's hard to be married to a woman. I'm sure other women married to women understand it as well. <laughs> they are uh, quite literally usually right about everything. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, that's what I'm learning. <laughs> that's one of the first things you got to learn, dude. They're they're right about everything. Oh, you talk oh, about me. You, you talk about me generalizing. <laughs> Well, it just keeps you out of trouble. If you're trying to be with a woman, then let her know how right she is about just about everything. It'll go. It, it'll take you places. There you go, kids. Here's your advice for the day. It's just bad dating advice from gaming up. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, trust me, you'd get nothing but bad dating advice from me. Oh no, I'm terrible at dating. I, I, she, she has to. She has to be like, hey, dummy. I like you. I'm like, oh, dope. Okay, cool. So, like, you want to go to bed now? And she's like, no, not yet, dummy. You know, like, that's kind of, that's how it goes, right? So. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, well, I told you, you did that school project and we talked about what people did during COVID. And you were like, what was, what was hard about COVID? And I was like, fucking dating, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had to do that in so long. Oh, my God. Yeah, you know, I hadn't in a long time, right? And so um, <laughs> my fiance, when we got together, she was like, oh, yeah, dude, I Googled you. I was like, holy shit. What? Not that that's a bet. That's not a bet, like, before we went out, right? And I was like, "Not that's actually the smartest thing you can do. I'm just more shocked that I was too stupid to think about it. Like, right? I, I never once thought about it. I was just like, oh, okay. You know, like, 
it just i don't know but like i said it's not like i wasn't mad that she googled me you you should that's actually pretty goddamn smart and what the fuck right. is happening here what oh, are I they had... getting sucked into the the void here i think so and sucked into the portal they're going to stargate Oh man, we beat off the Foot Clan so they can get sucked <laughs> into the portal. <laughs> That's all. <you. laughs> uh, uh, is that the author you read? Please tell me that's the same guy. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm still listening to that book, and it still happens. And every time I'm like, dude, I'm like, why? The, just Could the you choice. Just pick another kind of another word for it, please. Yeah, Dude, beat them, beat them back. <laughs> not that it's super necessary for me to understand at this moment, but do you have any idea what we're fighting? Triceratops. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Oh my God! Did I just pick you up and throw you? I think so. Dude, you should do that again. Yeah, that was dope. Oh, I, I forgot we can that. grab people. Dude, I don't know where April gets this like mallet <laughs> thing, but it's pretty fucking awesome. She oh got her God. microphone on steroids. Oh, I oh maybe it's a boom mic. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Whoops. Oh yeah, wow. No, yeah, it's a camera. It's a camera on a stand. That's funny. Oh man, defeat Captain Zorax for me. Avenge me. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I didn't see that the first time. <laughs> Mike drop, is drop. that what you do? <laughs> look at April, the sneaky, coolest oh. character in this game. She's a fucking badass. I don't know why I didn't pick her first. Unbelievable. <sighs> You're welcome. Oh, for real. So, um, we were talking about dating and such, right? And uh, you were talking about dating. I don't ever want to think about dating again. Fair. But in September, I have a nice evening planned for my lady. We're going to go see Dying Fetus. <laughs> Which is. Did you listen to that, that song I sent you? I listened to the <laughs> intro of the first part of it. Um, <laughs> you may so, think it's a lovely evening for her. I'm not sure if she will think it's a lovely evening. No, for her. she's going to fucking hate it. It's like five bands. The only ones I remember is Despised Icon, the OGs of Deathcore, and then Acacia Strain, which is. I don't even know how to quantify them. They kind of do like Deathcore y stuff, but play hardcore shows. And then. Acacia? Uh, like. Waking up in the morning, feeling like P. Diddy. <laughs> no. no, 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 no. A little, I, little I, different I than that? Yeah, yeah, just slightly different. Okay. Um, but, yeah, it, it, I told her because there was one day, like, you know, I was looking for new music or whatever, and I've never really gotten into, or, well, I had never heard Dying Fetus before, so I was just, like, listening to, to music and just letting it roll because I kind of like YouTube music, to be honest. And um, and then just one day I'm in the car on my way home in my commute, and it's like, <laughs> it's not my fault I love drugs and I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, hold on, what the fuck is this? Then it just kicks into such a fucking heavy ass song. Oh I don't, man. I don't. I don't think that would go over too well in Texas. Oh, I don't know. Uh, who knows, right? But um, so I. Uh, so I played it for her, right? And so every now and again, you know, I'll play it just, you know, because it's absurd and hilarious. And so I told her, I was like, hey, babe, there's a concert we got to go to. <laughs> and she's like, oh, God, what's this? Dying fetus. Yay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's funny is... uh. I'm not lying. I am going to drag her to the show. <laughs> well, I, I didn't. I didn't think you were lying at all. <laughs> oh man, it's actually at a spot. Well, God knows if it will still be here in September, but it's actually at a spot right next, like not next to, but it's like a ten-minute walk from here. Oh, and, that's not bad. Yeah, I saw Slaughter to Prevail there last year, which was freaking awesome. Which actually. 
I, 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 I've told this story before, but it was kind of awesome when I saw Slaughter to Prevail because it was just, quote, unquote, an evening with Slaughter to Prevail, which means it was just them. No right. opening bands. It was just them. So I got, <laughs> like, the perfect mix of both worlds where I got to feel young again and mosh and, like, go see a deathcore show. And then I got to be old still and get home by 10. <laughs> you know? Uh, best of both worlds. Yeah, for real. It is the best of both worlds. I kind of was like, I wish more bands would do this. But I'm sure it's financially... Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, I can't think of the word. I'm just sure it'll cost too much money for most bands to do that. Whoa. Okay, well... That sucked. Okay, never mind. JK, that sucked as well. Yeah, hey. I keep hit. Oh my god, I keep getting hit by this fucking thing. <laughs> but yeah, I um, I'm pretty jacked, man. I I know you're you're more into hip hop music than than the uh, the death well, metal. I, listen, I mean, I listen to a lot of different music. I just don't do the. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's I really that's, my, that's my jam, dude. You you hey. get a blast beat going, and some guy just being like, "I'm I'm there, I'm there 100 percent of the fucking time." And different twice drugs on for different folks. Oh man, sorry, April. I kind of I kind of it's all good. We'll be fine. <laughs> I'm wearing a yellow jumpsuit. Nothing bad can happen. <laughs> 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 but um. Hey, that's more than I'm wearing. I'm just out here with a belt and a yeah, mask. You're, like, you're... like I'm into BDSM and shit. <laughs> this game is more uh, kinky than I, than I thought it would be. Oh, I just got froze. Yeah, care... fuck. I about to talk shit to you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, we could have blown him up had they not froze us out. Yeah, oh, come on, dog. They killed me. I got you. I love... Shit! <laughs> come on! <laughs> we were in a fucking death loop, bro. I know. <laughs> oh, God. The, the, the constant freezing and thawing process cannot be good on our genes. No. What are they spraying the the Foot Clan people in the background? <laughs> yes, they are. They're, they're just oh, in an assembly line. <laughs> oh God, it's the Kink Division. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I realized in that first episode of this game, I talked far too much about porn <laughs> websites than I would like to in the future. <laughs> That's on you, buddy. <laughs> Yeah, I just, you know, <laughs> offered it up freely. <laughs> you, you, you were sharing. I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> well, you know, it's, it's the, do, doing this kind of thing is very therapeutic, man. <laughs> yeah, but realize yeah. that we are trying to talk to an audience sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, fair. Uh, when you're like that, you can just hit your super over and over and over again. Oh, well, what the shit... I would have liked to have known that. <laughs> why Why with the plungers? They have, like, mice out here that, like, would break bones chomping through us. And then they got a guy running out, like, I'll hit her with the plunger. <laughs> boom, boom, that boom. is so cool, that Bruce Lee-inspired special that he has. Yeah. Extra ninja power bar added? What the hell is that? I think it just means you get a lifeline or something. Where you hell can yeah. build up two of those things. Dude, April has got some good technique, man. I I love playing with April. This is awesome. Yeah, Mikey's not too bad. You were sour on him at first. Well, I guess you weren't sour on him. You said you liked Donatella a little better. Well, yeah, I did oh, Donatello sorry. last episode. What do we It's Baxter! Here? He was a scientist and accidentally turned himself into a fly. 
Kind of like the fly. Huh. <laughs> wonder if that's where they got it from. Yeah, I wonder if that, that was the idea. Get back here. He looks I like, like how you look... remember everything about these shows. I just remember names. Well, I got okay. I remember how. Like, I'm pretty sure. Well, I guess you don't need to know much to guess that he uh, was a scientist who accidentally turned himself into a bug. I mean, he, he with his little bow tie, he could have been a librarian that turned himself into a bug. God, I don't want to have to deal with the librarian ghost anymore. Done with her. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I don't think we are done with her, are we? Probably not. Oh, yeah, we are. We are. <laughs> oh, God, get back here, you son of a bitch. Oh, dude, we didn't even hit him once. Oh, I hit oh, him. Oh, God. Oh, See? God. You got 14 hits up there. Which I think is around the um, largest amount of acid I've dosed at one time. <laughs> Why is this episode the one we're not going to be able to post? <laughs> also, Jesus Christ, was it weak or something, or were you just insane? Uh, I think that was in the period that we were, uh, you know, we were all <laughs> dosing like every other day. Oh, yeah. And no, only, it was uh, only on not back to back days because it wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta sleep sometime. <laughs> oh, God. Also, it's a terrible idea to do drugs. Never do drugs. Nope, never. never I'm glad I've gotten drugs. older and I and I don't do drugs anymore and I'm, I've become smarter. <laughs> I'm glad I got older and they finally classified the one drug I do like as no longer like a drug. I mean, that's, that's true. That legalization is pretty fucking dope. Also, why? 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 I tried oh, to hit that God, guy I so fucking thing. much. <laughs> I did. Aw, oh, bitch ass motherfuckers. I got a game over. Whoa, no. Holy He's shit! Leaving me by myself. Oh my god, you can get a game over. Watch out. Be careful. Toke has abandoned me. Only momentarily. Oh god, run! You can't hit him. I know. I just don't want to get hit by this shit. I hate these. It's up to you, brother. You got to make it happen. He's already flashing. I like how his uh, little gun he's carrying looks like one of those old school like vacuums, the little handheld vacuum cleaners. <laughs> <laughs> Says the nineties. Yeah, I mean, they, they, my, my mom had one. It was big, it was big time, man. Hell yeah. You. Oh man. What what is your stance? This made me think. I know this is the dumbest topic ever in the history of time to bring up on a fucking episode of a let's play about Ninja Turtles. Where do you stand about carpet versus hardwood floor? Hardwood <laughs> floors, hardwood floors, hardwood uh, floors. Fuck carpet. I hate carpet. I have see, animals, you... stuff. I have oh, kids. Oh yeah. I have kids who spill stuff. Carpet does not hold up in this household. Everything sinks into it as soon as, as soon as our little dog, who's ancient, who likes to piss everywhere, dies. We are ripping up all the carpet in this house and putting in hardwood floors. Okay then. You, so there you, you go. You you ha you happen to find something I feel very strongly about. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I'm a, I'm the other way, man. I like carpet a lot. You can have my carpet. Whoa, what old carpet, dog? Also, where am I gonna put it? All these fucking, all these apartments too are all like hardwood and shit, because obviously, right? And it's just this like is gonna come down to the wire here, my friend. No, you got this, please. Oh God! Oh, 
Do you have any more special? Use your special. No. 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 Oh, my God. We actually have to end the fucking episode on a downer, dude. Well, you can't win them all. Shredder's got to be an evil villain for a reason. Man, check us out everywhere at Gaming Uphill both ways. It's Gaming Uphill BW. Just uh, try and go on and find meaning in life in this dark time. And fuck carpeting. Always go hardwood floors. (laughs) Peace. Peace.